All right, so here I am taking a break. It's rough looking for the Christmas trees, so I'm going into Jock Lindsay's Holiday Bar. They have uh, Christmas drinks here. And so I'm gonna go check them out, get a drink or two. Ooh, decorate it all nice. It's decorated all nice and Christmassy. I think this is one of the coolest bars to go to anyway. The drinks are good. But now that it's Christmas, it's even better. Have, I'm getting a Merry Margarita, which is tequila, ginger liquor, lime and pear juices, cinnamon syrup, hibiscus syrup, and garnished with a holiday sugar piece and lime wedge. So I'm a margarita fan, so Christmas margarita is perfect, right? I think I prefer a regular margarita, if I'm being honest. I don't know what's in it again, I'll have to check, but there is a very strong flavor I am not a fan of. I'm guessing it's the ginger liquor. The ginger liquor I'm not really a fan of. I don't know, I'd rather have a regular margarita, but still cool, right? It's only around until, I wanna say December 31st, so why not try it, right? And so on to my second drink at this location, the Holiday Cherry Cocktail. Uh, vanilla vodka, cherry liquor, simple syrup, and cranberry juice with edible glitter and garnished with the cherry. Let's see how this is. I think the vanilla and cherry is a good combination. Um, I'm usually not a big fan of cherry, but on this one, I I think it works. I do like the holiday cherry cocktail better than I liked the margarita one. All right, so here we go with the cranberry barbecue meatballs. Looks all fancy. So the next drink I'm trying is the Jock's Holiday Martini. It has the Frangelico liquor, vodka, Bailey's Irish cream, hazelnut syrup, and half and half sprinkle with cinnamon and garnish with a star and noise. A nice, whatever it's called. Anise. Star anise. Anise. Ooh, that's good. So far, that's probably my favorite one. All right, so the holiday martini, I guess if you kind of want to know what it tastes like, it's kind of like a white Russian, but I think it's more creamy. It's creamier than a, a typical white Russian. And it has uh, the cinnamon on top and the anise, the star anise, is what I was told by the bartender as I was mispronouncing it. It is a good flavor. I would definitely recommend the Holiday Martini. It is, it's delicious. The next drink I'm trying is... Ginger Mule? Yep, right here. Thank you, sir. The final drink I'm trying for the day, oh, for... Uh, Jocko's hol Holiday Bar is the ginger meal. It's a Frangelico liquor and Stoli vanilla vodka topped with ginger beer and garnished with cinnamon stick and cranberries. Cheers. Ooh. Ginger beer has a bite. Like, all I taste is the ginger beer, but. It's good. I mean, any meal, if you're a fan of meals, I think you'll be a fan of this one. It's it's good. Yeah. And so, just gonna sit here and hang out at the bar, finish this, finish the, this drink, and then I'm gonna go out and finish doing the Christmas tree stroll. So I'm gonna sip through uh, the cinnamon straw, or the cinnamon stick, to see. <laughs> treat it like a straw. Adds a little bit of that extra kick of cinnamon to the ginger beer. When I was little, my grandma used to give me like tea with cinnamon sticks and I would drink my tea through the cinnamon stick. So just had a moment where you remind me back of my childhood. I will probably get that again just because of that. But it's good. If you like, if you like uh, mules, you'll like this one definitely. All right, so I was told this is the... Uh, this is what this place is known for. They're actually having an influencer event 
on Saturday, which is tomorrow. And so I am the first one to be able to vlog this. So this is the... No, tell six. <laughs> this is the hot chocolate grail flight. And uh, yeah, pretty exciting. Never had it before. So let's try it. I gotta see what these are. All right, so on the right, or on the left, you have the salted caramel hot chocolate, okay? It's topped with pink salt caramel. In the middle, you have our Oreo cookies and cream. It's made with Stoli vanilla, white chocolate from the ganachery. All the way to your right, you have the peppermint hot chocolate flight. That's made with Bailey's creme de menthe. Again, hot chocolate from the ganachery, topped with fresh whipped cream, and that's got peppermint bark. The first one I didn't mention, it's made with Captain Morgan Spice Drum. All right, the first one I'm gonna try is the peppermint with Bailey's Irish Cream Liquor and Cream de Mente White Liquor. I'll admit it's, it's good. I'm not a big hot chocolate guy, but they are good. Even the peppermint one, I don't like peppermint. So the next one I'll do is Cookies and Cream with White Chocolate and Stoli. Vanilla. That one's even better than the first. Thank you. It's amazing. And then final, finally the spice caramel of Captain Morgan. Spice rum. That one is good too. You can't go wrong with any of uh, uh any of the hot chocolates in the hot chocolate grail flight. They are all delicious. My favorite one is cookies and cream. Highly recommend it. But if you're coming to the Holiday Bar, I would definitely recommend getting the Holiday Flight. As the thing says, as the, the bar says, you have chosen wisely. I spent a little bit longer time in the Holiday Bar than I wanted to. Uh, I spent about an hour in there. We tried all the, all the drinks. The bartender was really cool. We, I think he said his name was Paul. Uh, got to try the hot chocolate flight which I guess is what they're known for. So I'm one of the first uh, people to come in there and vlog about it, which is pretty cool. And so that ends my night at Disney Springs and trying the, and sampling the, the new holiday drinks. Thanks for hanging out with me. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching. You can watch anybody else, but if you made it this far, I really appreciate you guys. And until next time, hope you guys have a great day. <laughs> Bye.